magsiluhod ang lahat. Panalangin para sa pambansa at panglokal na halalan. Manalangin tayo upang sa papalapit na pambansa at panglokal na halalan ay tunay na maghari ang kalooban ng Diyos na siyang gumagabay sa lahat ng bansa. Sama-sama nating idalangin, iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Mula sa pamimilit, pananakot, karahasan at terorismo. Iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Mula sa panloloko, pagsisinungaling at pagbaluktot sa katotohanan. Iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Mula sa panunuhol, kasakiman at sabuatan upang makapandaya. Iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Mula sa kawalang muwang sa panlilinlang at makitid na pananaw. Iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Mula sa pagbabanta, pananakot at lapastangang pananalita. Iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Sama-sama nating idalangin, dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang aming budhi ang siyang gawing tunay na pamantayan. Dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang kabutihan ng nakararami ang aming pinakamataas na layunin. Dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang dignidad ng tao ay palagi ang igalang. Dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang kapuspalad at mahihina ay pagukulan ng higit na pansin. Dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang pangangalaga sa kalikasan ay hindi ipagwalang bahala. Dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang pagkakaisa ay magbigay daan sa landas ng kapayapaan at kaunlaran. Dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang banal na pagkatakot sa Diyos at pag-ibig sa kapwa ang maging gabay ng mga nagnanais manungkulan sa pamahalaan. Dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Manalangin tayo. Pastol ng aming kaluluwa at tagapagligtas ng sanlibutan, ang politika ay iyong kaloob sa amin. Isang paanyaya upang maglingkod sa iba at lumago sa kabanalan. Gabayan mo ang politika sa aming bansa, katulad ng paggabay mo sa amin. Nawa ang aming politikal na pakikilahok para sa mga botante at kandidato ay magdulot ng kaluwalhatian sa iyong mahal na ngalan at matulungan din kaming yumabong sa kabutihan, ngayon at magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we come in this Eucharistic celebration to receive Jesus, the bread of life. May our faith in Jesus lead us to good and right decisions in life. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Mass, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, let us feel your compassion more readily during these days when, by your gift, we have known it more fully so that those you have freed from the darkness of error may cling more firmly to the teachings of your truth. 
through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The angel of the Lord spoke to Philip, Get up and head south on the road that goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza, the desert route. So he got up and set out. Now there was an Ethiopian eunuch, a court official of the Candace, that is, the queen of the Ethiopians, in charge of her entire treasury, who had come to Jerusalem to worship and was returning home. Seated in his chariot, he was reading the prophet Isaiah. The spirit said to Philip, Go and join up with that chariot. Philip ran up and heard him reading Isaiah the prophet and said, Do you understand what you are reading? He replied, How can I unless someone instructs me? So he invited Philip to get in and sit with him. This was the scripture passage he was reading. Like a sheep he was led to the slaughter, and as a lamb before its shearer is silent, so he opened not his mouth. In his humiliation, justice was denied him. Who will tell of his posterity? For his life is taken from the earth. Then the eunuch said to Philip in reply, I beg you, about whom is the prophet saying this? About himself or about someone else? Then Philip opened his mouth and began with this scripture passage, he proclaimed Jesus to him. As they traveled along the road, they came to some water, and the eunuch said, Look, there is water. What is to prevent my being baptized? Then he ordered the chariot to stop, and Philip and the eunuch both went down into the water, and he baptized him. When they came out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord snatched Philip away, and the eunuch saw him no more, but continued on his way rejoicing. Philip came to Azotus and went about proclaiming the good news to all the towns until he reached Caesarea. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Bless our God, you peoples. Loudly sound his praise. He has given life to our souls and has not let our feet sleep. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Hear now, all you who fear God, while I declare what he has done for me. When I appealed to him in words, praise was on the tip of my tongue. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Blessed be God who refused me not, my prayer or his kindness. Let all the earth cry out with, to God with joy. Please stand. I am the living bread that came down from heaven, says the Lord. 
Whoever eats this bread will live forever. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draw him, and I will raise him on the last day. It is written in the prophets, They shall all be taught by God. Everyone who listens to my Father and learns from him comes to me. Not that anyone has seen the Father, except the one who is from God. He has seen the Father. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your ancestors ate the manna in the desert, but they died. This is the bread that comes down from heaven so that one may eat it and not die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever, and the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. We celebrate the gift of faith during the Easter season. Kapag panahon po ng pagkabuhay ni Jesus, ay pinagdiriwang natin ang kanyang bigay at biyaya na pananampalataya sa atin noong tayo'y bininyagan. And in our first reading today, we see how the gift of faith is working in our life. In our first reading today, we see Philip sent by God to minister to an Ethiopian eunuch or a court official. The court official was reading the scriptures. And so, Philip was sent to explain the scripture to the official. There we see faith already working, the Spirit beginning to work while they are reading the Scriptures. But faith does not stop there in reading and teaching the Scriptures. The story ended when the court official decided, I will be baptized in the water. I will accept Jesus in my life. You see, my dear brothers and sisters, faith is not just about reading. Faith is not just about learning. Faith is also deciding. Ang pananampalataya po natin ay hindi natatapos sa pagbabasa ng salita ng Diyos. Ang pananampalataya natin ay hindi nagtatapos kapag tayo'y nagdarasal. Kasama sa pananampalataya ang pagdedesisyon. And faith 
our firm faith in Jesus should lead us to well-formed and moral decisions. Ang pananampalataya natin kay Jesus ay hindi lang magtatapos sa mga salita. Ang pananampalataya natin kasama dyan ang mabuti at maayos na desisyon sa buhay. That is why in our gospel reading today, from the Gospel of John, we see Jesus proclaiming Himself as the bread of life. And what is life? Life is not just about filling your hunger. Life is also about making decisions. In fact, our life will be shaped by the decisions we make. That is why Jesus said, I am the bread of life, and whoever eats this bread of life will be given life. Hindi sinabi ni Jesus na, Ako ang tinapay at bubusugin ko kayo. Kasi ang buhay hindi lamang naman tungkol sa pagiging busog. Ang buhay ay tungkol sa pagdedesisyon. At ang buhay mo ay magreresulta kung ano ang mga desisyon na ginawa mo sa buhay. Mga desisyon na gagawin mo pa sa buhay na ito. That is why Jesus tells us, the bread of life gives us not just satisfaction or fullness. The bread of life teaches us how to live life. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, since life is all about our decisions, life is shaped by the decisions we make, let us pray that our faith in Jesus would help us to make good decisions. Dahil po ang buhay natin ay tungkol sa mga desisyon na ginagawa natin. Ipanalangin po sana ninyo ngayon na wag lang tayong busugin ni Jesus. Ipanalangin sana natin, Panginoon, turuan niyo po akong gumawa ng mabubuti at maaayos na desisyon sa buhay nang sa gayon ang buhay ko ay maayon sa inyong kabutihan. Jesus gives us life. Let us pray that Jesus may also teach us to make the good and right decisions in life. Amen. Please stand. We turn now in prayer to God the Father, who from the generosity of His heart has sent His Son, Jesus, the bread of life. For every petition, let us say, Father, teach us through Your Son. Father, teach us through Your Son that the people of God, nourished by the Eucharist, may unite to persevere in lives of faith and love. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father teach, teach us through, through your Son. Son, that through the worthy reception of the Eucharist, we may deepen our love for one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father teach, teach us through, through your, your Son. Son that we may not fail to share our earthly bread with those in need, and so become like the self-giving Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father teach, teach us through, through your, your Son, Son, that those who are sick in mind and body may be strengthened by receiving the body and blood of Christ in the Eucharist. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father teach, teach us through, through your Son, let us pray that we may have a peaceful, 
honest and credible elections and that we may elect leaders who uphold the values we hold dear as Christians and Filipinos, faith in God, truthfulness, integrity, decency, and concern for the common good. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father teach, teach us through your, your Son. Son that the dead may share in the Lord's promised heavenly banquet. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father teach, teach us through, through your, your Son. Almighty Father, guide us in our journey and help us to walk in the path of your Son, Jesus, who is the bread of life. We ask this, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead. Grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer Himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before You. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the Lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in Your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me Please stand. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god with blessed joseph her spouse with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Regina Celi, Laetare, Alleluia, Quia.